Hi guys, it's Connor here and here's a quick update on a question that Lynn has asked in the discussions forum and that's how to um, change reg regional settings inside your SharePoint site so your dates and times appear to the kind of um, locale standard of your geographical location. So there's a number of ways that you can you can change the values here and you can see that we've got our leave from and our leave to columns. And this is showing as a month, a day, and then a year. Now in the UK, we display our dates slightly differently. Um, it would probably be um, unusual to our uh, American audience where they display it in this way. Uh, but say for example, I wanted to make this a, a day, and then a month, then a year. Um, so just switch those around. There's an easy way to do this. And this is via your regional settings inside SharePoint. So you can access your regional settings by coming to your settings cog at the top here selecting site information then go and view all site settings and this will take you to that classic sharepoint view where you can edit the site settings under site administration you'll see regional settings select that and you'll be taken to this menu so here you'll be able to set things like the time zone now we set this to a uh, the pacific time zone as we predominantly deal with a an american audience even though we're an English company, a British company, uh, we do deal with an American audience, so it makes it a lot easier when dealing with uh, certain scenarios. However, you can see underneath that we've got region here and we've got the locale, and this is English United States. If I change this to English United Kingdom, and you can also do things like changing calendars as well. Uh, you can set your uh, work week if you do work weekends, and you can also add that here as well, and you can set time formats as well. But after changing that to English uh, United Kingdom, I can select OK. And then we can return back to our leave entitlements list, I believe. Oh, sorry, it's our leave request list. And we can see now that we have our day, then our month, then our year. So that's a good way of changing it um, at a site level. However, there's a nice thing that you can do inside a date field or a date column in SharePoint. And that's by editing the column, by selecting the column, selecting column settings and pressing edit. And you can also turn on a friendly format and press save. And what this will also do is it will then just change it to the sort of readable format that most users will be able to understand without having to do that kind of day, month, year conversion. A very useful tip and this also works for time as well, which is really nice. So hopefully that's a little nice tip on how to manage regional settings and date time formatting inside SharePoint. And I'll see you guys again in another video. Take care.